with yourself. I will tell you though, that's not my biggest concern. But my biggest concern is this. That I pray that Christ was exalted and uplifted. And I pray that solemnly by his power and his might, that perhaps tonight, somebody in this building, even if there's nothing but one, that has heard that they, like they've never heard before. Perhaps have seen like they've never seen before. As Isaiah saw him high and lifted up. We're not up here for fame. And although there is an entertainment element of what we do, we are truly up here as ambassadors for Jesus Christ. Amen. As you guys saw my testimony video, I talked about my life being a life that was contrary to God's will at the age of 16, 17, up until 18, until God saved me. I'll be the first to tell you that when I got saved, I wasn't looking for God. And the truth of the matter is, the Bible is clear that nobody is ever looking for Him. He seeks us out. He comes for us. And I'll tell you for me, for this young man born in Savannah, Georgia, on the west side of Savannah, it wasn't going to be no religion that did it for me. Because I love my life and I love my life of sin. And had not it been for the sovereign grace of God, I would have continued in that life of sin until my death. But just like Paul, Saul of Tarsus on his road to Damascus, Christ stepped into his life in the midst of his darkness, the sin, blinded him with his glory, changed his god hating heart, regenerated his heart, granted him faith, and saved him. And that is my testimony tonight. And that is my prayer tonight, that Lord, by your power, that you would move on the hearts of your people like only you can do. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that through the power of your gospel, not gimmicks, not entertainment, not wooing, not emotionalism, but through the one message that you have promised to bless, the gospel of Jesus Christ, which Paul says in Romans 1 16, it alone is the power of God unto salvation. And so I pray that we would never substitute the gospel for methodology in the flesh, but we would truly be faithful to the call. Realizing, God, that if you don't do the work, Lord, it will not get done. But you've made it clear that you work through the gospel. For you have chosen the foolishness of preaching to save men from their sin. And Father God, as we share this last song with these, your people, entitled, You Are the Christ, Lord, we pray that you have been glorified in this building on tonight. And we pray that you will continue to be magnified in us, your earthly vessels. That the people leaving this building tonight would not leave saying how great the concert was or how good Zion the saint was or any of that. Because at the end of the day, that means nothing. But I pray that they will leave in all of you saying how awesome Jesus was on tonight because you moved in such a way that it was undoubtedly a move of your spirit do it in such a way that no man can touch the glory for it in Jesus name we pray you are the Christ
also really no less Can't take no credit for it Because you changed my heart It had me running wild I would've not stopped By your sovereign grace Lord, you was my grace Regeneration to place Now I must give you praise Who makes the sinner willing? Who raised in eyes to see? I was saying Anybody who doesn't say a sin Can't be ashamed of you You're the one that brought me through So many nights I cried You gave me peace and mind when I pray to die, you gave me life to say, Oh, how grateful I am that I was not found in. I got me love you show, so I must give you praise. This is the song I'll sing for the rest of my days. Jesus Christ, your word is never sound like a to you. All of us are just idols. I'm not Christian and Buddha.